Hello, this is Reza from Radacad and today I'm going to show you a small trick how you can get list of folders, only folders in Power BI, not files under that folders, just the folders because sometimes folder itself contains important information like the folder name. Let's check it. In Power BI, or let's say in Power Query, we have an option to get data from a folder. Um, if I click on more when I'm using Power BI, um, in the file under the files, I can choose folder and get data from a folder. Now, if I choose this folder, uh, something that has uh, subfolders and files under that, if I select that, uh, this option will give me a list of all files in that folder and subfolders. So here, if I go to transform data, just to show you, uh, this would be not files under that folder specifically. These might be even files under other folders, under subfolders. The folder path column here, if I bring it closer, folder path shows that some of these files are under different folders. But in fact, it returns all the files and their extension. Now let's say you want uh, information of the folders, not the files. What is the scenario that you might need folders? For example, here I have a folder that I usually keep all my speaking engagements there as a folder each, explanation about what that, uh, uh, let's say, a presentation is, at what conference, at what date, right? This is a useful information itself, right? I, I Of course, I have files under each folder as well, but I want just the folder name. Uh, if I use this approach, I would get files under that folder. So let me just um, show you this process one. So if I say, okay, um, new query, again, get data from a folder. And if I choose that as a folder, I would get all files under that folders, which is fine if I want files. And usually if it is a good option to combine files together and do something like that. But if I want just folders, there's a better uh, way to get that. Let me zoom in so you can see that. Uh, when you use get data from folder, it used this function, folder.files. Folder.files returned all files in that folder and subfolders. Now, if you use folder.contents, C should be capital because Power Query is a case sensitive language. Folder.contents will give you all files and folders only in this path, not in subfolders. So here now I have uh, all the folders and I have also the files. If I um, go all the way down, there should be one or two files as well. So here you can see that in addition to all of these folders, I also have a file, right? Folders usually are like table, files are binary. Um, now, how can I filter it only to be folders? You might say this is the extension column. We can filter everything that does not have extension. But in fact, there are files that has no extension. This is not a good way of doing it. You might say I filtered the content to make it only based on the table. You cannot filter it this way. You need actually another column with a custom column that checks the type of this. If it is table, then filter on based on that. That needs a little bit like a couple of steps more. Uh, there is an easier way to do that. Let me explain you the easy way. There is a column here called attributes, which has all attributes of that folder or file. If you expand it, uh, one of these columns under that is a directory, which is a true or false. If that item is a directory or folder, it is true. Otherwise, it is false, right? So that's all the information we need, right? If I click on that and bring that over, then you see this is true for all of these folders. But if it is a file, like the last item here, it is false, right? So then all I need to do is just to filter it and say return everything that is through. Uh, so this is all folders under that directory. So what are the steps again? One step is to change folder.files to folder.contents, then expand the attribute and get the directory out of it, and then filter it to be only through as a directory. Very simple approach. 
very useful. Now, if you use this process quite often, it is also useful to create a function out of it and run that function, uh, which I have the script of that function in my blog article down below in the script. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.